All right, thanks a lot, everybody, for joining me for the second night in a row of our 10-box St. Jude break. Uh, boxes were purchased from Blowout Cards. Um, and for those of you that weren't here last night, they snuck an extra box in there. Um, I spent the day sorting the cards from uh, last night, and uh, it took me a couple of hours, but I think I got everything correct. Now, if you weren't here last night, uh, let me just find the boxes that we did break. Um, we did a box of, uh, oh, what year is this? Well, uh, Topps top Rookie Cup. I believe that was 2005. Yep, 2005 Topps Rookie Cup. We did 2004 Bowman Chrome. We did a one-pack uh, box of 2005 Topps Retired Baseball that had an uncirculated autograph. So, and by the way, this uh, this first box had a hit. It was an autograph, uh, an Indian autograph, if I remember correctly. We also did a box of uh, 1997 Topps Finest. As well as uh, 93 Bowman, just regular old Bowman. And then we did a 2005 uh, Bowman First Edition. Followed by an 07 hobby of uh, Heritage. I believe we pulled a relic out of that one. I think it was a Brian Roberts black jersey. Then we had a 2001 uh, Topps Reserve. I hadn't heard of that one before. I had some problems with the cards. They were kind of sticking together there. Um, had better luck <laughs> with cards before. And then the last box that we opened last night was 2001 Topps Gold Label. Um, Nice thick card uh, stock on that one. Not too bad. All right, so that's what we did last night. So that's uh, nine boxes, which we should only have one left, but we have two. So let's move along to the what should have been the tenth and final box. We're going to do 2001 Topps Chrome Series 2. Um, this one featuring King of Kings Topps Originals, What Could Have Been, and Refractors. Uh, I believe it also says to uh, look for memorabilia cards as well. Um, of course, there's no guarantee with any of these uh, from this era that there will be any um, hits, but I'm encouraged by the fact that at least this is a hobby box as opposed to a retail. So, hey, Toby! Now, I don't know if he joined us but uh, last night, Toby, but... Uh, you did get some good cards, I'll just tell you that. All right. 2001, Series 2, Tops Chrome. Celebrating 50 years, of course. We're going to go a little bit fast, just like we did last night, just so we don't waste time. And already I'm noticing that these cards are sticking with packs. That's not necessarily cool. Oh. Am I pulling ink off? Yep, these cards are sticking a little bit here, so I'll do my best not to ruin them here. So, we got a Mo Rivera, got a Ryan Rupee, Mike Myers, and a Jeff Abbott. So, of course, these are nice and shiny. I always thought that the crumbs from the earlier years were a little bit better looking than they are now. And good news, the uh, the finest that we opened last night uh, has not curled, so that is a good sign. I know finest has a had a, has been notorious for curling. So we've got Miguel Tejada, Jason Tyner from before he uh, came to the Twins. He's with the the Rays there. Kerry Wood Golden Moments, and Tsuyoshi Shinjo. And by the way, uh, we've got, I believe it said 24 packs with uh, four cards per pack in this box. Trying to make it through this entire box without having to rely on my scissors. I'm such an, I'm an imbecile when it comes to opening packs. And, okay, there's four. There we go. So we'll start with Edgar Martinez, Adam Eaton, 
Felipe Crespo, and Roberto Hernandez. I just happened to notice uh, this, uh, today, I guess, as I was sorting through the cards from last night, that uh, I missed uh, some sh short prints because I was going through so fast from uh, Heritage and then some refractors from uh, Finest that I didn't call out as we were going along. So that's what happens when you go by quickly. So if I happen to notice any refractors or anything like that in this, I'll let you know. There's a good uh, Nomar, Garcia Parra, Chad Cruder, Dodgers, Juan Guzman for the Rays, or double Rays at that time, and Rolando Arrojo. Nothing is hitting me at this point as being refractor. Let's, uh, and uh, not only is this hobby, it looks like it's an HTA hobby, and it looks like we've got some sort of a uh, parallel or something in the back here. I've never, I haven't opened this product before, so I have no idea what I'm looking for. So, just peel these apart a little bit here. Start with uh, Jeff Kent, Greg Maddox. It's always a good one to hit. Jose Vizcano, and then the card behind it is upside down. <laughs> it's a gold Gabe White. And the reason why I knew it was something uh, like a parallel or something is because the backside is actually a nice kind of like old school cardboard. I don't know if the camera can focus in a little better. There you go. So it's not the gloss back that the rest of the uh, the chromes are. So that's kind of cool. Kind of like seeing that chrome front, old school cardboard back. For all you fellas, I uh, I apologize. My wife is not going to be with us tonight to help mock me, as she's wont to do. Uh, we've got this to be some sort of. Advertisement, you can buy a duffel bag from Tops, should you wish. We'll just set that aside. I didn't realize Tops was also into... Uh, aside from making uh, t-shirts in which uh, dirty words are apparent on the front, uh, apparently they make uh, duffel bags. Todd Zeal starts it off with Ramon Ortiz. I miss those Angels uniforms, they're so terrible. Uh, Bucky Dent, Golden Moments. And... A oh, nice looking Southpaw Greatness multi team card. So, of course, as usual, uh, this will go to the uh, majority team slot holder. So, if someone has two team slots on this card, uh, they'll go to that person. Otherwise, I will randomly. Come on, camera, focus on the card. Well, you saw it, right? Okay, Sean Casey is the first card, if I can get him out there. There we go. Don't be dirty. Don't be dirty. <laughs> uh, Rubio Durazzo. Steve Paris. And Kerry Lichtenberg. You know, this would go much faster if I didn't try to pronounce everyone's names, I suppose. Hoping for some, uh, some good... Good mojo in these last couple of boxes. I just kind of feel like we had a stretch there where some of those boxes weren't really yielding anything too fun. But but then some of the hits that we did get were pretty nice. So John Olrood, the big grease Sidney Ponson, Russ Johnson, and a Golden Moments Lou Brock. And you're all sure that I'm not too loud. I'm not. I'm not clipping. I'm not. I don't sound like I'm swallowing the microphone. I'll take your word for it. What's up, Rich? Cliff Floyd, Marlins, Eric Karos, Eric Gagne or Gagne. I was not sure about his last name. And then. Uh, Iron Man, Cal Ripken, looks like photoshopped to look like he's being hugged by Lou Gehrig. Very cute. Very cute. I'm a little surprised at how many of these packs are being stuffed with these 
inserts, these uh, add inserts. Now, 2001 was definitely not my favorite year for Topps cards, but uh, had some good names come out of that year anyway. Sammy Sosa, Delano De Shields, Luis Gonzalez, and Ron Coomer in a Cubs uniform. I say that because he used to be a Twinkie. He's currently a TV analyst for Twins games. I always find it real funny when the former players decide they want to do color commentary or something like that, and they just... They, more often than not, sound like they could be replaced. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. <laughs> uh, Tony Armas Jr. Turner Ward, Diamondbacks. Jimmy Anderson. And Denny Nagel, Rockies. Feel free to chat, everybody. This is, uh, you know, we've got a group here. I'm sure some of you might know each other. We got uh, Ant Pepe is my uh, Cardinals guy. Brewman seventy. That's Kent. He's my he's my Brewers guy, obviously. Uh, Debbie, she is a loyal wax cracker. She's my Phillies girl. Funner here. That's uh, Julie from uh, Things Are Funner here. The nice blog that, uh, and she's obsessed with Roy Halladay, so she's uh, taking my Blue Jays slot. Uh, Rich, did you take? Uh, well, did you take Nationals or Orioles? And Scott, I, I apologize, I don't remember who you took. Uh, we've got Javi Lopez, Braves, uh, Scott Ellerton, Astros, Omar Vizquel, Indians, and a nice gold, Ricky Gutierrez. And again, this has got the nice cardboard back. If only the camera, there we go. Come on, guys, don't be shy with each other. <laughs> I have pulled a couple pool holes, just not out of this box at this point, but 2001 pool holes? That would be something else. All right, so we got uh, starting off with Ken Griffey Jr., Mike Lieberthal, Miguel Batista, and. 60 home run club. So you got Ruth, Sosa, McGuire, and Maris. This will likely go to the Yankees since we've got two Yankees on here. Royals, okay. Oh, he has brain tumors. I hadn't heard that. That is sad news. Um, for anyone watching the recap here, Dead God just said, uh, I hope everyone will keep one of my all-time faves, Darren Dalton, in their thoughts and prayers. It was announced today that he will be undergoing surgery next week for two brain tumors. So, indeed he is. All right. So we've got a Mike Piazza. Looks like Robin Ventura is in the foreground. Pablo Ozuna. Matt Stairs. Did he finally retire? And a rod with the Rangers. Moving on. Well, I know we've got six of the, uh, I think, 26, 25 paid here. So that's, you know what, being that this is the second day, that's, that's a better turnout than I honestly was expecting. I think most of the people are planning on catching the replays anyway or just sitting back and waiting for the cars to come home. So... Nah, you go ahead, man. Do what you gotta do. Rich Aurelia. Eric Milton. Finally, some twins. Uh, Andy Ashby. And Christian Guzman. Two twins in one pack? Well, I consider that a success. Another 
pack stuffer here. Get rid of that. Well, I at least these cards aren't being destroyed as I'm peeling them apart, so that's good news. Matt Williams. Adrian Brown, that's kind of a cool looking card. Hey, there's my camera. See my camera, everybody? Yeah, great. <laughs> and Tate Martinez. And a sweet looking Ty Cobb. Nice little uh, Topps Chrome Ty Cobb. Let's see. Try not to get the. Ref I mean, those are some heavy chrome if you can see the reflection of everything. Bernie Williams. I feel like I've seen Bernie already, but I could be wrong. Could be just for me sorting cards today. Uh, Ricardo Rincon, Devon White, and Ricky Henderson. I've been pulling a lot of Rickies, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Now remember the next ba box, the uh, the bonus box, the eleventh box is going to be a monster. So I hope you have a, if you're going to hang out, hope you have a little bit of extra time to hang. Jeff Bagwell, Sterling Hitchcock, Alex Cora, and Jason, I believe Beret. Okay, we're getting down to the final layer. So this is the. Fifth to last pack here. Oh, dude. Oh, someone's going to be happy. Someone's going to be happy. Not only is someone going to be happy, someone's going to be pretty happy. We'll get to that in a second, though. Uh, Raul Mondesi, Blue Jays. So there you go, Julie. Uh, Tim Slime and Salmon. Mike Mordecai, and someone's going to be happy with this one. Albert Pujols, late edition rookie card. Congratulations, my friend. I would say that is a pretty nice score. In fact, I'm going to sleeve that up because we're not messing around with an Albert Pujols. And this isn't even chrome. This is a foil board, by the way. That's what they mean by late edition. So that's a foil board. Not even enough time to chrome that sucker up. So that's sleeved and put aside. There you go, Ant. Pepe, you asked for a Pujols. You got it. Alright, oh, I'm sorry, this might be the fifth to last pack now. Suddenly it looked like more packs just suddenly appeared in that box. Alright. That might have been the hit of the box. Uh, Mo Vaughn. Chris Truby. Michael Tucker. And Nelson Figueroa or something or other. Okay, this for sure is the fourth to last pack of this box. Making some okay time, about 20 minutes for this box. Alright. Oh, Deb, Deb wants to know what it was. Um, Deb, I will show you what it was. It was a late edition rookie card of that guy. In fact, it was uh, such a late addition they couldn't even chrome it. That's a foil board. So, all right, we've got Roberto Alomar, Russell Branion, 
Daryl Hamilton, and Glen Allen Hill. Yeah, I would call that the hit of the box. That's that's uh, that's what I'm calling. So. Guys, part. He hasn't played against St. Louis yet. Kind of strikes me as odd for some reason. Uh, Tim Wickfield, Kevin Millwood, Top Rookie Cup, Kazuhiro Sasaki, and Donnie Sadler. Moving on to the penultimate pack, everybody. Penultimate pack. Got another pack stuffer. It's kind of hard to peel these apart and remember to look at the screen, so I know that my hand isn't on camera. Uh, Andrew Jones, Al Leiter. Vinny Castilla, Desi Rolliford. Final pack of this box. Another pack stuffer. Okay, there we go. Ryan Klesko is the first card of the last pack. Jeremy Burnitz. Jackie Robinson, Golden Moments, and the final card is Honus Wagner. Not bad. Well, you know what? That was a pretty, no, that was a pretty decent box. No autos, no relics, but um, S word, late edition, Pujols rookie card. Give me an F and break. That by far is the the best rookie pull I think we've had this uh, this break. So. So congratulations, Anthony. You win this round, sir. <laughs> All right, so that's the end of that one. So now we're on to our bonus box. Bonus box is a big one. And it's so big, in fact, that I'm going to have to stop recording here because I think it's going to take me a while uh, just to get through that box. I'm not going to stop going live, but I'll probably have to refresh here, so just hang with me for just one second. 